Welcome back to Can I Vibe with y'all, where the vibes are immaculate every time we hop up in here. Every time. Every time. You know we got to say it. If it's your first time watching, it's your boy Kaz. You can follow the IG, C-A-Z underscore zero. I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to you. And again, you already know it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis023. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know we got the boys up in the building yes. today. We got the yes, guest sir. show. As always, go ahead and introduce yourself. Want to go first? They looking at each other. My name is Tino. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's good, everybody? My name is Ray, 24, from Miami. You already know what it is. I yeah. am showing love. So this is a uh, somewhat of a collab, a little bit. You got your own podcast on the yes. regular. Uh, a little song, song <laughs> over shout there. Out, you know, we to, we, we, we talk about that Miami life. You know. <laughs> uh, you know, definitely. You know, since I'm from Miami, if you want to check out on the regular and see a little bit of. The Miami lifestyle. You could go ahead. That's at underscore on the regular. Okay. You know. Okay. <laughs> Bring so it. I got to say this real quick for the people watching on YouTube. We're restarting this episode. Shit, I'm out of breath singing them guilty pleasures, but you know we can't put the music on here, unfortunately. So go check that out on the audio platforms. However, we gonna restart this episode a little bit, reshift, and I'm gonna give y'all boys option. Do you want me to start mild, or do you want me to come in hot? Mm. Bring it in hot. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I was out the other day and someone asked me this question. I was like, damn, I got to ask that on the podcast. Shoot. He said, what would you do if you're married for 10 years? You have kids together. The marriage is completely perfect. She does everything perfect. But you see a video of her getting a train ran on her in college. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> Yeah. Yo. Yeah, what you doing? Bro, I think we talked about this one time, bro, like amongst ourselves, like we, me and you. Oh, I think so we, we did. did. So you we had a conversation have, about this. You should, you should have an answer that. You're Damn. definitely the one that brought that up. So what y'all doing? I'm uh, All right, so he's saying I'm, 10 years. 10 years. You got kids. Y'all married. Beautiful. Marriage already shit. good. Everything been good. <laughs> Everything <laughs> straight. Good. A video come out, her getting a train ran on. <laughs> oh, okay. And I didn't know about it. Like I didn't know before. You said a video came out? A video. Social media, like where everybody like somebody came up to you and was trying to show yeah. you the video. Okay, so someone showed me. Yeah. Someone showed it didn't hit the public eye. It, it, it didn't hit the public eye. Not yet. And I. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> no, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, not yet. And I don't like. She never told me before. Like, oh nope, hey, I got a first hope. time here. Damn. Oh, you were still. You were still. No, I mean, I'm just. If she told you. I'm trying to see like if she told me beforehand, and then I'm already in the marriage because it's like one thing you tell somebody, yeah, but then like yeah. once you see it, it's kind of like different. Like why you didn't tell me? Right. Damn. Oh, that's shit. a tough one. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, that's man, I mean, I gotta answer. Like, I go think, ahead, fam. I think I'll deal with it, man. I, I had deal. you said ten years, right? Ten years. Yeah. Kids. That's a long ass time. You happy? Man. Like you're, you're really happy? Yeah. Like I mean, honestly, like I'll definitely stay. Like I'll have to read the consequences, take the L, but like Charges I'll probably game. mostly stay because. Fuck. I mean, bro, like. <laughs> You gotta think about it, bro. That's tough, ten yo. years, bro. That's no, ten no, no, years, no. Bro. Ten years a long time, a long bro. Time. It is. That's bro. a long time. With kids too, long We're time. Because decade, bro. At that said kids with yes. an S, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's facts. Three of them. But things. damn, <laughs> a train, dog. Like a train. It was five niggas. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, but we a say train every day is how, more like, than two people. So but it's look, like, we, we we say every day how like well not every day but like we when we talk about females or whatever like we say we say how females have like their their whole phases right. And we we just don't know how ugly it really get. Oh, that's you know? it's ugly. That's ugly, bro. But, yeah, that's yeah. Ugly. but look, like, bro, you ten years in, bro. Like, you know, right. as far as you know, you know, she's been loyal. She gave you three, two kids, whatever. Perfect. Okay. You wouldn't lose respect, respect for her. Okay, I mean, let, bro, like, let me I'm tell like, damn, you. like, this is my wife. I have to heal from that. My princess, but <laughs> that'll take some healing for I, real. I just, I just seen her. Bro, you can never get look that like a dumpster. <sighs> To a whole bunch of men. Listen, though, that's that is hard. You saw you saw the video too. Y'all fucked me up right now. That's hard. Like, 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 Bros, like Broski <laughs> showed you want me to come show you the video. Yeah, he, I did. I did and, tell and, him and, that. And, and, dudes, and dudes are tagging it like, bro, it's your turn. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Tell you get into the deep straight like that. All right, listen. listen. Not, you know you, what? You, you know what? You're not gonna be able to look at her the same. Come on now. You're not. You're What's not. Let, let, all right, let's call a spade a spade. At the end of the day, if I find that out. I'm I'm throwing up. I'm the, I'm for sure. I'm oh, sick wow. to my stomach. Like I'm like, for sure. I'm not gonna look at her the same. But it's like at the end of the day, like ten years. Come on now. Once you're married, and like I feel like once you're married, ten years, and then there's kids involved, bro. Like, 
I feel like you can't even leave. You, just you like, can't. You, you can't stuck. leave unless it's like unless unless that train was ran like during the marriage and she cheated. Yeah, yeah. that's but what like, I said in college. Yeah, yeah. But if that's like in the past, bro, you just you really gotta swallow that, bro. That's like, gonna you, be like who, you got to. You gotta swallow that. I don't know how you're not, you're not gonna be able to look at her the same. You know, you're you not. got you gotta dip Definitely. out. You like, know, this my wife, this my queen, and to like ten other dudes. I probably I probably leave like, the crib for about like a good couple of days. Maybe yeah, sleep in a different bed. Facts. You know I what I'm saying? Oh, okay, so would you tell her? Because some dude told you, would you go? Would you present it to her? Oh, like, 100%. Yo, I saw this video. Like, yeah, no, 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 yeah, would you, yeah, would you yeah. Just of course. Not tell no, you know what? No, you know what? Actually, never sweep that under the rug. No, actually, that's, that's, that's actually a good question. What I would do is if someone showed me that, I'll bring it up in a sense like I'll try to see if she lied about it. Because then if she lied about it, then I'm leaving. So so if I find out, you know, I'm gonna throw up right after. I'm gonna be like, Ugh, God damn. <laughs> okay, okay. Then I'm going home. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Shorty. I'm gonna be like, Listen, hey, you know, you did anything a little crazy back in the day. <laughs> this is this and that. Kind of, you know, put it. I'll, I'll try to set reel the trap. It in, reel yeah, it in. reel it in. Try to set the trap. Then if she lies about it, then we got a problem. Then marriage counseling and helping that. Hell, I'm out. Hey, but y'all didn't mention something like what? we talking about like let's talk about like the timestamp. Mm-hmm. So what like let's say like is the train like or in which like the train occurred like was it close to talking stage? Or how far was it from like this was? I, I think they're saying like this is before what marriage you, you or relationship. Before marriage, I said in college. So oh, let's college. just let's, let's say just, this, is this before our relationship. Let's just say ten years after. Okay, so this is before th- th- anything. Th- this was before your relationship started. Before, before our relationship okay. started, yeah. But let's say it, it started. Yeah, I it think happened my right before stays. you. you got, yeah, you you gonna stays. be sick, bro. That's gonna, gonna be a hard one to charge to the it's, game. It's, right? it's yeah. gonna be a lot of healing to do. But like I said, I'll definitely trap her, see if she'll lie about it, and then if she lies about it, then it's like then then I'm out. Then I, then I gotta be like, all right, we we gotta go to counseling or some, or I might just take the kids and dip, bro. I might just be like, hey, listen. We, Mother's a motherfucker. She I she out here lie. tripping. I probably throw up to a little. Yeah. yeah, you got to, bro. Uh, it's just crazy. But are you staying? I feel like I have no choice. But it's like I would stay. Why do you feel like you have no choice? You can leave. Nah, I would stay. You could take the kids. I would stay. I would stay. I would stay. I would stay. It'll hurt. I could, but, but I'm gonna stay. Gonna be able to look. That, that image is gonna be. Imagine sleeping Stop. right next, sleeping know, right next to her, and you're like, damn. Now but I you got, got an image in my in my head. Ten dudes was just all Facts. over her. Don't try to, don't try to change my answer it. now. However, however, <laughs> however even same. if I were to leave, uh, the next girl I'm with could have the same shit. No, but that's the Word. thing, though. Like but you don't know. You gotta, you gotta remember. I ten just years. They all gotta pass at this point. Ten years. Like once you ten years deep in a marriage and you got kids, like the dating Everything pool good. is not that great. That's facts. That's facts. So that's like facts. at that point, it's either you gotta swallow it or you just and you, it's you, gonna be she tough. She gives you perfect head. Oof. It's hard to let that head go. I mean, Ooh, throat goat. Yeah. The only way I would take her back is, all right. If she, if she, if if, if it was ten dudes that was that ran a train on her, then I get to cheat on her ten times. God. Then I, then I oh take her back. I said Damn. five, and you went to ten. What, what the fuck? How, how, <laughs> however many dudes was in there, that's how many times I get to what? cheat on her, or how many girls I get to smash before I take her back. <laughs> Yeah, straight like that. Yo, that's wild. That, I'm so that's serious. That's why this was before like uh, our nah, relationship. Nah, nah. You should have told me that's something you're supposed to bring up. I'd rather not know. You want to bring it up not. on the first Hell date? No. Like, when do you want to bring it up? Don't tell me that at shit. At some point. Don't tell me that. It's, better, it's better than finding out 10 years balls deep into the relationship. Nah. Balls deep. Right? If, would you rather find out at the beginning and you know what you're dealing with? Or would you rather find she, out? Well, if she told me, that was I was, I was going to ask. So, like, would, would you if she told me at the beginning, I wouldn't even be there. Come so, on. let's say it happened, exactly. bro. Let's say it happened. But, like, would you rather know or rather not know? I'd rather not know. Ooh. Ten years deep in a relationship, you'd rather not know. I'd rather okay. Know. Okay. Nah, so, fam, so, so if, if homie was like, yo, you want to see the video, you would have said no? No, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm curious. curious. I'm oh, not. Course, I would have. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious. Okay. Confir- I'm curious. I, confirmation. I'm, okay. com- I'm curious. Because okay. bro, niggas be talking. Bro, what? Yeah, no. If I'm she curious. told me at the beginning, though, I wouldn't have even hopped into that relationship. No, hundred percent. Exactly, hundred percent. But like I said, talk, ten years with kids. At that point, bro, that's something she should have told you at the beginning. I'd rather gotta, her not tell me. I'd rather you gotta roll the dice, bro. I I feel like you really gotta take that. You just gotta take it. How many dudes was in that video? That's how many times. That's wild. That's how many girls you to say that? That's crazy. Like, come on now. Lord, I hope I'm never in that situation. (laughs) That's the only way I can make up for it. At the end of the day, I would accept it for whatever happened. We got kids. We married. Let's move a little forward. I'm gonna definitely be sick though for about a week. A week? I'll be sick for a year. 
Oof, I need some I'll be sick, I need therapy. You're Check never going to get over it. I'm never going to get over it. Never. Hey, man. So, all right, so I want to ask you guys, do you think it's a red flag if a girl wants to smash on the first night? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, with the intentions of dating a female, yes. No. I think it's a red flag. No. No. Okay. okay. Uh, nah. No. I don't think so. Now, why? Um. <coughs> so, <laughs> all right, so my answer to that. Is that um? So so you wouldn't view her as like she's easy or a hoe. I want to say she a hoe, but I'm just gonna be like she's okay. easy. All right, let me get a little bit of uh, the scenario here. Mm-hmm. Are we just linking, or we went on a date and then after that, brought her back to her place and she invited me in? That's a good question. Like if if, if y'all <laughs> like just like I, met yeah, at the club, if like, y'all just met, at yeah, that's the club. what I'm saying. Like did we just like did we just link? Like you because you know how it is when you link yeah. up with a female, y'all know what y'all doing. Y'all just linking, absolutely. But I'm saying like, did we go out like on a full date? Got to know each other. First date, shit went sweet. First date. No. Okay, I, first date. That's kind of different. I don't it's think. Like I don't think it's right. We but it's, it's, it's the it's first night. It's intentional though. Like it's it's like y'all getting together. It's just you and her. Yeah. But she, like I'm talking about like the reason why I said no is because like if. If you're just linking with, with a female that you don't know, bro, like you, you could be anywhere, bro. Like you could be at a fucking park, a club, whatever. And y'all just happen to be like, you know, clicking right at that moment and be like, yo, let me take you out. And then y'all go out somewhere, or whatever. And then y'all happen to fuck it that night. Because mm-hmm. personally, that happened to me. Like, I would look at it as like, mm, I wouldn't say it's that she a hoe. I'm just going to be like, I'm probably not going to take you as serious because. That's I mean, you, you, you got to try the shoe on before you buy it. I mean, for yeah. sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, but so what about the club? Nah. Club? Like yeah. right after the club? Yeah. Hell nah. I've been in the Why? club and it, it, it don't smell good in there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could definitely know that it smelled like hot pussy yeah. in that bitch. Okay. It, it's, yeah, the club is like, if it's a first date, she want to give if it up. If it's a first date. I, I agree with y'all. Yeah. yeah. I agree with y'all. If I'm it's a curious. first date, I think, I think it's okay. Like, I've definitely been in situations where I've gone on... You know, a first date, and you know, things have led to after that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't see that person any different, to be honest. You know, shit kept continuing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Obviously, like the end goal wasn't there, but I think like that type of thing, you definitely don't really got to focus too much on it, to be honest. I think, I think it's okay. Yeah. Here's my thing: like, if you go on a first date, she might not have intentions to do it the first date. Yeah. But y'all, y'all vibe. You have a good time. She's like, yeah. Happens. I had a good time. Yo, that well, like you could really be that dude. You, your was, vibe could like, definitely be that. I take, that as, like I take that. that as a compliment. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think most girls smash on the first night. Exactly. A lot a lot of females don't do that. Like yeah. you really got to be that dude with the comfortability exactly. and you know, you got to have like that sauce and all that, you mm-hmm. feel me? Suave. So, yeah, you got to be a little suave with yeah. it. So, I take it as a compliment. If 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 a female wants to do that with you, Facts. and you can feel it I, too. I agree. You can feel can when I, it's going well. You like exactly. Right, like, you could feel it when the sparks flying, hands touching, mm-hmm. eye contact and <laughs> shorts. <laughs> hey, can just, I share a story with y'all? Go ahead. Go, go, ahead, so go look, ahead. I had a conversation with a stranger, right? Cuz I'm just that friendly or whatever. But I had a conversation with a stranger. Uh, it was like a mom, a mom, a mom of three kids. You know, she got a husband, and she was saying that. Um, because I told her I was like, how did how did you how did you meet your husband or whatever? They met on an online app. I think it was like ten or twelve years ago. They met on an online app. I think it was. I think she said about three months after, like them dating, they married. How old is she? And now they're twelve deep. They're 12 years deep into the marriage, and they got three kids together, bro. And that was just in regards to, like, the spontaneous, like, mm-hmm. shit that y'all was talking about. Like, like when you know, you know. Bro, like, because me personally, I would have never thought, and, bro, this is a mom. Like, this is a girl who's older than me, a woman who's older than me. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought, because I thought she, she would have been, like, you know, old school or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. But she, her telling me that, I was just like, damn, like, Love could go any way, bro. Yeah. It's different really now. It's shit different could now. just really happen, like, any way. Like, that shit really Not opened my eyes. Yeah, I mean, for sure. Bro. I can say this, like, definitely, like, you know, I'm from Miami, so where I stay and where I live, people fuck first and then they date after. Yeah. And that's just how it is. Like, unfortunately, you know, some people may not like that, but that's just how it is nowadays. There's pros and, and cons. There's, there's pros, pros and cons to it. You feel what I'm saying? It but should be like that, though. It should be. 
You think so? You gotta try it out. You just said that before. No, you no, you're right. I wouldn't say what everybody does. I, I, yeah, right? that's body, what I'm saying. Body I don't count think, gonna be I, through. Yeah, the roof. I don't think every date you went on. Yeah, I don't think with everybody. I, but I, 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 I had I, seen one of y'all y'all former um former episodes where the, the duo was talking about how like the test drive analogy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta oh, test drive, you gotta man. test drive the whip. Speaking of course, 100. I agree, I agree, I agree with, with that. that. Not, not everyone, but now with now real. with everyone, you know, some girls, you know, you really just kind of want to take a little study and kind of really yeah. see and play it out. Mm-hmm. But obviously, you know, there's sometimes where you know the female give it up on the first date and shit, you you fuck with it and you like, damn, I want to see shorty a little more often. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. once you once you start doing it a lot more and and then y'all start She starts sleeping over Y'all start cuddling <laughs> You're eventually Gonna fuck with her You feel what I'm saying yeah. So I could definitely Like say I don't think it's a red flag um, If it's something That she does Each and every time Then it's a red flag But I, but personally for, for me I wouldn't see it that way I'd be yeah. like Alright shit I, I feel like I you can kind of see too Like cause If you go on the date And yeah, 10 minutes into the date She talking freaky I'm like hold up Oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Then that's Then that's like you, a way yeah, Hold like, on Hold on I might now. be that guy But not Pause. that much I've never experienced that But nah no <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm saying That happened a couple times <laughs> Hey <laughs> Is that Stephen Stephen A. Smith? I don't know if y'all heard. I seen that Stephen A. Smith meme. It was like, this shit is too good to be true. Like, <laughs> like true. that's what I be thinking yeah. sometimes too. Hey, you gotta roll with it. Fuck it. Uh, I remember, it, bro, way back when I took this girl. I was young, bro. It wasn't even like a fancy. We went to Tropical Smoothie, bro. Tropical Smoothie. No, 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 not Tropical. We went to Jamba Juice across from FAU. Juice. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just like you know, quick little meet up, whatever. Okay. Got a couple smoothies. No joke, 10 minutes in, she talking about fucking me. Okay. I'm like, over some smoothies. Over some smoothies. Damn. Demon time. Okay. Okay. I'm like, yeah. She was like, I want you to put me in a blender. God damn. <laughs> what you do, though? We're going to say that if you're <laughs> camera. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, but for, like, I did it, but as soon as that came out her mouth so early, I'm already like, yeah, you this not going anywhere past yeah. that. See, for me, like, my instance was like, and, I, and to be honest, it only happened to me one time. But this was like a long time ago. What happened to me was that we went on a, like, we literally went on a date. And we went on a, on a whole entire date, dinner date, had a good time, had conversations, stuff like that. And then towards the end of the night, uh, we went to another little spot, talked a lot more. And eventually, it was almost like 12, 1 in the morning. And then after that, she invited me to her place. And then from there, that's go time. That's what I'm saying. From there, it can. That's what I'm saying. From there, it continued. It's not like I just smashed and then I just did. Like I was like, shit. I had so much. I had such a good time with you. And this was. And it went pretty well. So we're gonna continue this a little bit. But you stayed the night. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I've had that happen to me. I've had that yeah. Of course. Happen. Of course. Why not, bro? Why yeah. Not? That was like a long ass time ago. I can't I'm remember guilty. that shit happened to long me. Ass time. Long ass time ago <laughs> That was that was during FAU days College days oh, yeah. College like, day, Probably yeah. like my first semester Or some shit like that I really? don't even know I got, All my stories Be from college days so. Hey man Crazy I'm not gonna lie I would still take that As a compliment though You have to I did but like, I, I believe I'm just that handsome To her That's really what I took it It definitely as. boosts That's your ego it But like definitely. I wouldn't look at a girl As a hoe Cause I feel yeah. like I didn't look at her as a hoe But I can't look at you As like a girl something special like yeah you definitely got to see like i don't know how to and it's that, up to you yeah. i don't know i'm not looking at her as a wife from initially meeting her like she looked good mm-hmm. but it's hard for me to put you in a category above everyone else because you just showed your ass within 10 minutes okay. if the sex was good though you're definitely coming back though you definitely gonna <laughs> yeah, see yeah, yeah. Yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah we hung out about six times that's what i'm saying you're gonna see what's up. <laughs> We definitely gonna see what's up. Uh, as a man, what's your favorite non-sexual act of intimacy? Damn, that's a good question. Oh, <laughs> I've never been asked that. You got, you got an answer yet? I like to cuddle. I ain't mean, gonna cap. Little spoon, little spoon, or big spoon. Both of them. Both, both of them. Yeah. Which one? You gotta pick one. I gotta pick one. If I had to pick one, bro, I'm not gonna lie. What's your favorite? <laughs> little spoon, bro. <laughs> That shit's fire. That shit is that shit. No, no, no. That shit is fire. I don't, that shame bro. Me, I don't give a fuck what anybody say about me, bro. Ain't nothing like being a little spoon. Like ain't nothing like it. That's uh, underrated. That shit is. That shit is and I think the only reason why I I cherish that is because like I'm a big nigga, bro. <laughs> You it's are not opportunities that like a nigga like me that could really like. I mean, I'm he's he's a tall nigga, bro. Yeah. So he probably cherishes that shit just as much as I <laughs> love do. Like, it. I'm bro. Love it. That shit is one of one. Little spoon. Shout so out to the girls that are willing really to be the biggest. When she put that, that thick that ass thigh on you, bro. <laughs> what? Nah, when she bro, put now that. Now that you think, now that you say it, 
being the big spoon is too much work. Word. Bro, tough. The arm. Tough. 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 Yes. No, that Love ass. Love it here. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> man, if the girl got thick thighs, bro. Oh, That's what I'm saying, bro. When she lives. put that thigh on you, bro. Yo, hit oh, me up. And if you're she trying to take the baseball. hand, put on your chest. Uh, <laughs> oh, yo, fuck. I tell I be telling the straight. I like to be Lil Spoon 100%. I do Big Spoon as well, but I'm just saying, you know, you I, do, I can is, do Big Spoon too, work, but it's like <sighs> fire. Your arm yeah, fall sure. asleep. Yeah. What about you? You the last one. <laughs> um. You one tall ass nigga, bro. <laughs> <You> better- <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I like cuddles, but mine would probably probably be uh, getting a massage. Ooh, Ooh, that's a good. I like one. those when she gets the lotion. Too. Like, yeah, we hey. watching we watching our favorite hey, hey. TV show. Like, picture this, picture this. That's my favorite. You the little spoon, and she giving you a massage. Ooh, man. Hey, let me ask yeah. you: Is that a pre? Like, can you just give the massage without having sex? The us giving it or getting it. I mean, you Both. can, oh, you man. can, but it's always going to lead to. Nah, sex. it's always going to lead to. Yeah, that. You think it's like, always going to lead? One hundred percent. Yeah, because she gonna give me one, and then I'm gonna yeah. give her one back. So let me ask you a question. It's, it's over after that. Do you do you guys have like the discipline to like? No, no. Like I you already not. know no. it's gonna go there. Oh right? no, right, yeah. Right? So I work on yeah, the back, yeah. and then and I'll make, I, I make know my why way I down to the question. cheeks. Like you're not over. I'm spreading them. It's over. Okay, so so you're not gonna give the massage if you know that there's not gonna be no sex at the end. Wait, you so, said what? Nah, right, I still so do it. If I'm already fucking with it. it. All right, so like, I'm fucking with it, My yeah. question was this. My question that's was that's my shorty, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my question was this. Like, <laughs> are you going to give the massage if you know for a fact that you're not going to get sex at the end? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're still going to give it? My, All right, If real. she's my shorty, if that's my girl, yes. I, actually I, I, like I hope I get massage. one back. I ain't going to lie. I okay, hope yeah, I get yeah. one back. He's like, I'm hoping I get one back. Yeah. Okay. I ain't going to lie. I'm a pleaser, so I like giving the massage. That's real. See? Because then you would like... You enjoying it, so now I'm enjoying it. Yeah. Now, now, if you That's give real. me one back, yeah, we about to go crazy. <laughs> <He said>, hey, <laughs> yo, what? Hey, yo. Put, put um, uh, let me give an answer to that. A non, you said a non-sexual act of intimacy. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I recently did like a love language test, and okay. my love language is words of affirmation. Okay. So okay. I like when a female is uh, gives me a lot of reassurance, and you know. Tells me like the little things. That shit makes me warm. Woo. So that arouses you. That's what you're saying. He said warm. I'd be like, damn. That nigga said warm. It does. It makes me warm. I feel that though. Makes me warm inside. <laughs> like, what does she have to say to you? Um, I just like when a girl, you know, makes me make makes it known and makes me feel assured that like I'm I'm doing good. Like I'm playing my part. I'm doing good. And the things I'm doing for her, she loves it. It's amazing. Okay. And like, you know, talks about my appearance a little bit or just a little thing. Yo, you ever have a girl like applaud you for your goals and like motivate you to keep that's going? Another, yeah, that's another. I love that. Of course. I love that. Bro, that's yeah. weird. I love Way that. Bigger when than a girl any tells me that compliment. I'm proud of you, like the things that you're doing are amazing and like I support you. Oh my God. Yeah, Man, God. for me, it's like the little things, like just like the little details. Like I like how you do this, da da da. That has yeah. really nothing to do, just something Bro, that she yeah. admires about me. That right there. You look sexy yeah. when you do that. That like, shit, that yeah. shit. I didn't even know you noticed that. <laughs> Make me feel warm. Yeah. For real. I feel warm inside. <laughs> like my heart just, <laughs> yeah. 100%. I'll be, wa- be walking around smiling like, yeah. Ooh, what? Yeah. Feet, I be like, feet I be up like, on the shorty. bed, feet swaying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on my stomach, just like, thanks, shorty. I appreciate you. You're doing what good. That? You're doing you a good my, job, right? You got my mind. <laughs> you're, doing, you're doing a great job, sweet. I be like, thank you. I love shout you out too. to affirmations. For, shout out to girls who, who do right, that. For real. Facts. Fire. I think mine is quality time. I love language. So for me, non sexual, I mean, a lot of girls do this, but a lot of girls also don't. I say cooking for me. Ooh. Mm. That's like you take the time to make me a that's home tough. cooked meal. Yeah. Especially yeah. without me asking. Yeah. Just wanted to do it. Like, oh my God. I've been in position because I, I know how to cook and I cook mm-hmm. very well. So like I've been in the position where I'm always the one cooking. But I definitely do appreciate when a when a female same, does that. Same. Is that that's, like that's a, my love language to them. Like I I cook a fire ass meal. But let me let me let me make you think for a, real, for, me think. for a quick second. Like, is that is that quality time for you, or is that like 
Cause there's a uh, Acts of service That's acts of service yeah. Right 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 yeah. right So however, I guess Cause how, I mean you can have More than one love yeah, language Yeah I mean however Like if it's like Say we in the crib She cooking We got some music playing And we spending that Quality time together Yeah For oh, sure okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I, okay, can, okay, I can okay, paint okay. the picture oh, We dance a little yeah, bit While right. she cooking Yeah <laughs> Hey just a she personal got, experience I know I know exactly <laughs> She got them <laughs> shorts <laughs> on Hey <laughs> She got them shorts on. What? No bra. You know, yep. Yep. Hair, yep. Pull, yep. hair put up. Yeah. Yep. yep. Fire. I know exactly who you're you talking about. You know exactly about. who I'm talking about. <laughs> Go ahead and get your question in, bro. Say no name. Say oh, no name. So, what do you think the dating market would look like in five to 10 years? Garbage. I, ooh, that's a good question. I, I feel like it's terrible now. I don't know, like, where, where is it? It's not getting any better. Go for it. I feel like. <clears throat> you think everyone's going to be single? When they're like nah, 30 or 35 nah. You think that's gonna be common? But I feel like it's it's up in the air Like I feel like people say shit About dating all the time Like And I'm gonna say this Cause I'm one of those people That say that But like Seeing Like taking you back to the story That I, I shared with y'all just now About the mother or whatever Yeah Like that just gave me perspective On a whole different Cause bro like The girl probably The woman probably in her 30s 40s whatever mm-hmm. She's more than a decade deep in her marriage. And there's people like that, bro. There's people like that out here that are really, like, flourishing off of dating for three months and literally, like, marrying each other. Facts. In a ma- like, just like that. But I don't think that's common. It ain't common, it's, but, it's like... Uh, that's actually kind of rare. I don't think everybody can can experience that. I feel like... Oh, I, don't think that, I, don't, I don't think that's it realistic that everybody can... Oh, no. It don't exactly happen like that, but, I mean, is your question pertaining to, like, our age gap? Cause yeah, yeah, matter of fact, yeah, it's like, like, five, 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 like five years. Like, what do you think it's going to look like in five to ten years? Um, shit, that's... A, if you want to dumb it down to our age gap, it's a good question. I feel like, um... Trash. Listen... Man, uh, go it's, ahead. It, I, I think I think this. I think it's still. I think I still got faith simply because, like, really, therapy. Let, let me tell you why. <laughs> therapy, bro. <laughs> therapy. I feel like therapy is much more like um, accepted nowadays, and um, I don't know. But I, I feel like people people are more open to that, and because of that, because they're working on themselves, I feel like just the concept of love or concept of dating, yeah, and and having to tolerate somebody else. Else's baggage or whatever, or them working on it, or whatever, is more like accepting or whatever, or maybe their patience is less is less thinner, you know. Okay. Mm-hmm. So like, but also, you know, I like the, I, I I like I'm I, I like I like I'm hopeful wishing when it comes to that type. You of got shit, a lot bro. of faith, bro. That that's terrible. <laughs> I kind of I kind of want to bring this up. How do you expect to solve uh, self control? Because there's so many temptations, especially down here. How do you solve that? Let me let me could, let me go ahead and answer going. that one. Yeah, do that, do that for real. No, no, do that for real. It's gonna be trash. It's trash it right is. now. Yep. It's gonna Facts. be like dead garbage five years from now, and it's because of a lot of things. Like, definitely in our age group, it's already hard because it's either she already got kids, got a baby daddy drama. Facts. She's emotionally damaged. They go, they can't they get go. over her ex. Yup. She has too many options. She's too stuck up. Has like she's too like egotistical. Like it's already bad. So like by the five years from now, like it's like we're gonna be in our third, basically like entering our thirties, right? And it's not even gonna get any better. You you're basically gonna have to settle like really really bad. I, I okay. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like your answer is towards the lifestyle that we live in Miami. And if it's like that, well I'm that's my lie, well that's my environment. Yeah, I might have to agree with you. But on that's that. my yeah. environment. That's my environment. Because dating right now is already terrible. Because at the end of the day, no one wants to commit. Everybody already has too many options. Yeah, like right. that's the thing. Everybody's like wondering about their social media, about who's in their Fact. phone, about this is this, this and that. And no one wants to give a hundred percent and actually roll the dice. You feel me? So like. But that, the, that, that's both genders because you kind of mainly talk no, that's about both, females. No, 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 that's both genders because because dudes dudes are like that too. Like oh. there's dudes out here that that be too much full of themselves talking about they don't want to take a girl out. On, like dudes don't want to take girls <laughs> out on a date and do something. Sim- no, yeah, that's crazy. Does. That's Ooh. crazy to me. Like dudes don't want to do girls a down here move thing. funny. I'm from New Jersey. They all do. The girl, all the girls down here move like they're not loyal. I'm not, I'm no, no, not, no. I'm not, it's facts. Not investing nothing. It's facts. It's facts. Know, facts. Like, but I also, I also that. say all the time, it's hard to compare. I mean, dating is bad everywhere for the most part. Of course, but it's hard to compare because we live in the. 
place that is just awful. Every girl nah, it's bad. It's awful. because yeah, it's because the environment funny. and the and like the appearance and like everything like that. It's it's really really yeah. like trash. South Florida is it, just it makes trash. it it makes it hard to trust. It, it taints your vision of women because. But like, at some point you got to break the cycle. Like at some point, like. You know, if you were to meet a female, you can't sit there and, and like overthink yourself. You got to be yeah. like, "Fuck it!" Like, I fuck with Shorty. She seemed like she fuck with me. Let me at least go ahead and like roll the dice and see what's up. And let me put at least a, a, a good amount of effort. I'm mm-hmm. not saying you got to put all your eggs in one basket, but you know, you don't got to keep talking to your hoes and doing this, this, and that. You can still go and do your life, hang out with your friends, and not you know devote all your time and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But but then if you get heartbroken, then you got to go to therapy. Man, ain't nobody yeah, doing yeah. therapy. Everybody wants to sit here. <laughs> well, fuck all that. People want to sit here talking about, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to therapy. I need therapy. No, nobody they, ever this, do it. This free therapy right here. Yeah, just come and come onto a fucking podcast and talk about it. But come on, now. ain't nobody doing all that. But five yeah. years from now, we're gonna be entering our thirties, and honestly, you're gonna have to settle. I feel like now you have to settle. Like 24, 25, 26. At right now, you have to settle. Like. Yeah. Like nine times out of ten, you're gonna come across a girl that already got kids, that that has a baby daddy, or like stuck on her ex, or like you're gonna come across a, a a female that's super stuck up, very materialistic, that you that she want a nigga with the bag. Like it's very very tough. Mm-hmm. Don't get me wrong. There's there's good girls out there. It's rare. It is rare. There are good girls out they're, there, but like y'all running out. They they they're are running, running out. out. So if they're running out right now. Bro, by the t- five years from now, shit, they're going to be extinct. What's your advice for men? Like, what should they do in order to get the best option in the market then? Since everything is shit, what, should, what can a man do or what do you think he should do in order to attract the best option? Man, that question can go any, any it way. Really, yeah. It really go can. Ahead. Go, bro, go ahead. It I'll, depends. I'll, 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 however way you want it to go. Yeah, Listen, to it, really, it really depends on, on what he wants. But for the best option, exactly. you got to be yourself. Exactly. You really got to be yourself, especially from where I'm from and where I live. I see a lot of fake shit, a lot of, you know, fronting and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, when you fronting and you faking, you attracting the wrong type of females. You attracting the females that don't date for love. They date for the money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, you're going to be stuck with that. But if you want to attract females that actually going to fuck with you for you, you just got to be yourself and understand that you're going to take some L's. You know, shit going to come and shit going to pass. But at the end of the day, there's... Many different women out there So one thing that I've learned Is definitely be yourself If you a goofy ass Nine to five nigga Be a goofy ass Nine to five nigga yeah. There's some, some girls point. that like that There's some girls that like that I think that's the thing Is like uh, Especially men We're trained to, to learn Like you know You gotta have Six figures Or whatever amount of money Fuck all that drive man. this Drive that So they, they're trying to do This good job Of appealing to the woman And then they finally do it Let's say you make it happen And then she still end up leaving You're like damn What did I do wrong that's and crazy. Then and then you're trying to check the next box off, box off, and then like, damn, what did I do wrong? So I agree with you. Like, just be yourself, bro. Like, that's crazy. If, we talk, if she, she want to stay, she'll stay. As we talked about that the other day. You gotta have that it, mindset. It's, it's like, if she like you, she like you. Yeah. yeah. Like, you gotta have that mindset. That's the thing. Niggas don't have that mindset. Like, at the end of the day, niggas do things to appease women. Majority of them. Mm-hmm. The things that men do out here. They do it for women, whether it's getting the bag up, going to the gym, and this, 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 and that. Fine. That's cool. But you got to understand that you're going to attract the wrong type of females, and those females going to put a headache in your life. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, at the end of the because I could tell you this. At the end of the day, like, I ain't all that. You feel me? I'm just a regular dude. I mean, I'm, I'm not, the, I'm not the, the prettiest nigga in the room, but I don't think I'm the ugliest. But at the end of the day, I'm going to go ahead and carry myself as a funny, confident nigga, and I'm going to see what, whatever comes with. You feel what I'm saying? That's just, that's just an example for someone that's like me. Mm-hmm. So I just think at the end of the day, you just got to really be yourself because you're going to attract the really, really wrong yeah. females that's going to just pff, drain I, I, I you. Think, I think it goes back to social media. Like, we see all these other people doing well, quote, unquote. Yeah. And they're like, I need to be like him because he got all these hoes around him. He got all these girls. Trust I, need, me, I need to be doing that. And then you do that, you still ain't got no hoes. Exactly, you're not bro. being yourself. Exactly. You're still the regular surface level dude. Listen, man, like I heard a quote one time, looks can get a female, but in this day and age, it ain't going to keep a female. And I'm not saying that, you know, females should accept a broke, a broke bum. Don't do that. But 
there's somebody there for everybody. Mm-hmm. So nice. you can't like you can't be scrolling through Instagram and be like, damn, I want this IG model that got 50 K followers and this is this, this and that. I got to go get my bag up. Go get your bag up for yourself. Yes. I and stay at the end, clear of them. Guys. Exactly. You got to stay clear of that. Go get the bag up for yourself. You and then at the end of the day, cool. one thing I've learned, bro, one thing I've learned, especially, you know, I'm 24 right now. One thing that I've learned throughout the years, ever since I graduated college and stuff like that, is that. When you focus in on yourself as a man, shit gravitates towards you. It's gonna you. gravitate the towards gonna you. Come. Everybody's gonna come regardless. And you're gonna be Ain't shocked on that. who comes. Because at the end of the day, a woman could sense that. A woman could sense when a nigga's on his job and he doing him. Yeah. And a woman likes that. <laughs> what? Let me hear yeah. Talk your yeah. shit. I'm man. just saying it's Y'all true. A lot, of niggas, a lot of niggas don't know that. You can't sit here and be pressing like, damn, dog, I see this man over here in the rentals <laughs> and this is this and that. He over there in Miami at Komodo or whatever, this is this and that. I got to be like that. Nah. Sit here and be like, you know what? I see it. It inspires me. I'm going to go do better for myself. Y'all mentioned Komodo so many times. <laughs> bro, listen. I'm from Miami, bro. That, that, hey, yeah, I, I beat everybody that, bro. know Komodo for real? Bro, like, no, bro. That shit is the most Komodo, basic. Kiki. It's, a Komodo, listen, bro, it's the most fish. basic <laughs> restaurant that you could take a girl out. Trust me. On any given weekend, when I'm looking through my story, I see about six of my friends there. Come on, on any I ain't given gonna day. lie. I ain't taking someone to Komodo until we like we we official official. Hey, bro, shit. I'm not Hold going on, on a random date. I don't think Komodo. I'm ever going there just just because of our. Nah, you gotta go and try. It. It's pretty good. It's good. It's pretty good. It's a, it's a, it's right. Is it so, overrated? I mean, yes, it is. It's overrated because everybody goes there. So why would I go there? Because it's actually good. Girl, like, it's good, but I'm saying so. Why is it overrated? Yeah, I'm saying overrated because everyone goes there. Everyone posts it. Everyone be be flicked up in there like that's what I'm saying. My question is this. My question is this. My question. Okay, is it is it good enough for everybody to be posting about Komodo? Yeah. No, no, no. Because it's good enough that like it's that like if you want to take a girl on a nice date in Miami, Komodo's the first thing that you take her to. That's that's why I say it's overrated because I still don't guarantee. No I'm not going there. That that, that don't guarantee nothing. But I'm saying I'm just saying like in that sense of overrated. Like I'm just like. For me, I see everybody everybody be there. So that's why it's a little overrated because and then the odds of you seeing somebody. Yeah. They gonna press there. you for Hi. that one. Hi. Oh my God, he they, talking shit about Kamala. They could press me for <laughs> shit. I'm speaking <laughs> true. I'm born and raised in Miami. I've seen it all. That's what I'm saying. Like all my friends be going there. That's that's like the like if okay, I'm I'm gonna paint you a picture. Like if you wanna take a girl out and you wanna take her downtown. Komodo is literally the first option that everyone goes to. That's why I say it's a little overrated. Mm-hmm. You got to pick a little something else. But so, what if you see a girl with a with a club promoter at these places? Is that a red flag? I have that's that's one of my red flags. That is definitely one of my red flags. Right. I hate. I, 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 I didn't see that a lot. I hate that. They'll take them to those restaurants and then go to the club. I hate a table rat. I call them table rats. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna get oh a lot of backlash. I'm gonna get a lot of nah, backlash. Talk for it, bro. It. Talk. <laughs> I'm gonna get a lot of backlash for it, but I I call them table rats. I don't like a female. Every weekend, she's at a promoter's table. I hate it. That is that's a red flag. I hate what? it. It's a red flag it for is. me. And I say this because at the end of the day, I'm very well connected, and I know a lot of the promoters in Miami. So I'm gonna get the game regardless. Mm-hmm. But it's just the fact of seeing you out every weekend. You can't just go out with your homegirls. You can't do this. Is like you at a gotta you, be at a table. You at a table every goddamn. And the weekend starts on Wednesday. So if you if you at a table the whole entire weekend, that's just crazy to me. I hate that. Let's that's amplify. Mine. And they got a kid. Why and they you, still why out. You out on a Wednesday? Ooh, it'd be why like that. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, I know. Wait, 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 this is personal. Wait, 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 this is personal. Wait, wait, wait. What's the question? What's the question? Like, would it be even worse if she has a kid and she's still going out? With the club promoters. She out. Yeah. No, no, wait. Nah, hey, I'm not hey, even hey, on the hey, scene hey, like that. Even the last question that they it. asked. Like, like, yeah, club promoters. I can't even have a So she got a kid and she be out like that? Yeah. Am I judging her? Yeah. I think that makes it even worse. I think you're judging her. I think that makes it. It's tough because, like I said. She with the club promoters every day. Uh, Where your kid at? Man, Come on, wait, wait, it's either, who, who is taking I mean, care of your bro, kid? No, well, listen, there, we don't. Real quick. Well, listen, we don't know. We don't know. You like, know who you are. well, we don't know the fam, We don't know <laughs> the know family dynamic. Are. We don't. Sure, there's yeah. a couple of y'all. To be honest with y'all, there's a couple of y'all. <laughs> listen, we don't know the family dynamic, and from my personal <laughs> experience, we, we don't. We, we, I can't sit here and talk on a female's my mama family. Taking care of the kids. Yeah, mama you know what I'm saying. I can't sit here and talk on on a female's family. But at the end of the day, like I was saying earlier, definitely in our age group. Six, I feel like it's six or seven times out of ten you gonna come across somebody that got a kid. Oh yes, and it's, <laughs> I it's say eight or nine, eight or nine. It's probably even it's, it's probably even higher, which is sucks. 
But um, I'm going to just give you from my experience. I've seen, I've seen women who have kids and... From what I see, it looks like they're doing their job and, and, and everything flowing. And, and I see them out. I don't see them out the whole entire weekend, but they be out here and there. I can respect that because at the end of the day, we're still young. Mm-hmm. You know, Shorty don't got to stay in the, in the crib the, the, the rest of her life. You know, they got yeah, grandparents, yeah. stuff like that. Right. But it just depends on, the, on how much she's out. If she yeah. if she out every she day of the weekend, on Wednesday, yeah, and yeah. Finish on Sunday. like if like she clockwork. if she out Thursday night for ladies night, Friday night, Saturday night, and then she had brunch on Sunday, I'm like, damn, yeah. take your kids to the water park or something like go that. To you know, like, go to church, go to church or something. But it just depends. It just depends. But I try. To, <laughs> she go see the you can't you can't really but you can't really judge a a, a woman on that too much. You know, what hey, to each is we don't we don't know we don't know. At the end of the day, we don't know. Live your life, live your life. But I just know. You know, I, I me personally, I got preferences. So of course, I I know I'm not in the club Tuesday through Sunday, so I wouldn't want to be with the woman who's yeah. in the club Tuesday. That's through Sunday. that's facts, and that's and just if that's you just live your, your life preference. like that. That's cool. Yeah, live that's your just life, your preference. Like I've I've def- I definitely agree to that. Definitely that's real. That. About to wrap it up, man. Yeah. That's some real. Yeah, this was good. Yeah. For real, is it? Yeah. I didn't even notice. Trust me, bro. We would go longer if we could, but nah, it's straight, bro. I didn't even notice purposes. Yeah. 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 Hey, I didn't even know this little shit. Bro, it was a good ass conversation. Nah, this for is real. really good. This Fire. Is My last thoughts. You got any last yeah. thoughts? Last thoughts. Uh, I'll say this. I'll close out with this. At the end of the day, um, you can't really judge a woman too hard because niggas ain't shit either. That's and that's just true, true. That's just a fact. Niggas ain't shit either. Like I'll say, I'll use myself for example. I have my own past. I got my own fuck ups. So I've learned. Throughout the years that, you know, I can't judge a woman too hard on her own past. Like, at the end of the day, if she doing right by me, if she treating me right, then I got to accept that as that. Yeah. The only thing is she can't have a kid. <laughs> I'm leaving that as I'm, that. Yes! I'm, I'm there with Ooh. you. Yes! I'm sorry. I'm not playing stepdaddy at 24. I'm not I doing was, it. I was going to ask I'll that question, it. but you I was like, let me not. No, me you, 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 you could have, but I am not playing stepdaddy at 24. I can't. No. I can't. No. Listen, I'll, I'll hesitate. You know, if you look good, everything I'm like I'll not, hesitate. I'll be like, oh, okay. I'm hesitate, but not doing can't. it. That is not my kid. I'm That's hesitate. not me. That I can't do it. I'll, you, I can't do it. I'll definitely think about it. No, but it's still gonna be a no. It's still gonna be a no. Can't do it. What you got? I, got, <laughs> man, I ain't got nothing to say, man. Shout out to all the women. <laughs> shout out to the ladies. I mean, shout out to the white I, I get, people. <laughs> shout out to the, everybody that we kind of reference, whatever. Like. Hey man, it's all love from over here. Bro. It is, it is. It's all love. It's all love. We, we just, love. we just talking. Our talk. We just talking. Yeah, we just talk. I actually, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna end with this because we, we mentioned it earlier. You were talking about dating in five to ten years. I actually really, I, it's hard to be hopeful, but I want to be hopeful. Yeah, I do want people to be be, be better because mm-hmm. it's just so toxic right now. It is. Nah, it is. Man. It's bad, it is and it's really that's bad. why, like, that's why we talk about these things because everybody has a different perspective. So we were talking off camera how people got dating podcast everybody got a dating podcast now mm-hmm. but everybody has a different story of course so i like to hear where people come from i hope in five to ten years it could be better but my hop i just want people to be better that's it Thanks. we're gonna preach this positivity hey yes. so we'll see how it goes go, shit. go, go ahead drop your ig's one time man i forgot one more time i'm not even gonna lie i forgot mine whatever bro. i think it's hey, underscore i think it's underscore t-i-c t-o-f-f I, I think it's the underscores out there before or after that shit, but but that's my IG. <laughs> Go ahead at D two B underscore Ray. And again, it's your boy Chris. You can follow me on IG at Mathis O two three. Yes, sir. And it's your boy Kaz. You can follow the IG C A Z underscore zero but don't go nowhere nowhere because you can follow this beautiful podcast. You can't avoid with y'all podcast Thanks. on all platforms. Comments. YouTube, share it with your friends, review, like, subscribe, rate, whatever. Whatever you do, Apple Podcast, Spotify, we TikTok, y'all. Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, all the above, man. Appreciate Damn. y'all.